If you really don't want to play fair, an array of traps, bombs, poisons, pistols, and rifles serve to offer even more control of the battlefield. Hello there my RPG lovers and welcome to another video. Gritfall is an upcoming RPG that I plan to cover in depth on this channel. I made quite a few videos about it where we talked about specific mechanics of the game and everything we know in general. There's a reason why I picked this game in particular and I truly believe that Greedfall will be a breath of fresh air for people who like RPGs. Spiders is a small studio but they always seem to have a strong ambition and love for their games. Granted, their previous titles were not so critically acclaimed but to be honest, Greedfall looks leagues better than any other game that came out from this studio. We know for a fact that we don't have to deal with any form of microtransactions, loot boxes or any similar shady practices so this is a big plus as well. You get what you paid for pretty much. And after a couple of terrible and disappointing RPGs that came out in recent years, it's really refreshing to see a unique role playing game. I'm also really glad to see that many bigger channels are starting to cover Greedfall and pretty much everyone can see the potential of this game. Anyway, before we go deeper into this discussion, consider subscribing for more RPG content and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. One of the main reasons why I consider Greedfall to be really unique is the setting. Inspired by 17th century, mixed with fantasy, this setting seems to have a huge potential. This time period is not explored that much when it comes to games, RPGs usually tend to draw inspiration from earlier time periods. Adding fantasy on top of this setting is also really interesting. All of the monsters that we could see so far have distinctive looks and their origins. This leads me to believe that we'll have some sort of bestiary in the game with information about all of these creatures. It will be really interesting to learn more about their origins, especially when it comes to those bigger monsters. The island of Tear 4 d seems to be filled with various creatures for the player to encounter. The natives of the island will probably have the biggest knowledge when it comes to creatures and the magic. I'm guessing that Siora, one of our available companions, can provide us with useful information about everything related to the island. Our main reason for being on this island is to find a cure for deadly malachor disease that infected the old world. But everyone has different reasons for being here. Greedfall has a lot of different factions and all of our available companions will belong to a certain faction. Everything you do will affect them in a positive or negative way, so your decisions will always matter. Spiders used every opportunity to promote Greedfall as a true RPG and this is one of the reasons why I got really invested in this game. At first I was a bit worried for the combat because they mostly talked about diplomacy in the game and how you'll have meaningful dialogue choices which is great of course, but as we got closer to release date they started uploading tons of videos with combat and I was completely sold. It looks really decent in general but compared to their previous games it looks way better. I think this is really important because it shows you the ambition and their will to improve. But as Jen Rousseau, the CEO of Spider said, they are not only driven by ambition, they really love what they do. In my opinion RPGs are all about options and freedom. The classless combat system of Greedfall seems to have enough options for playing the game as you prefer. And combined with tons of different quality gear and interesting crafting system, the gameplay will probably have more than enough options to keep me interested. I plan to play as a two-handed warrior for my first playthrough but I also wanted to know what do you guys plan to play so I did a pool. Needless to say that the results were not that surprising. One more thing that I consider to be really important when it comes to role playing games is multiple options for doing a quest. Having just one way for completing a quest makes the game more linear. The world feels more believable when you can think out of the box and try to solve the quest in a different way. This encourages different character builds because some approaches will require different attributes and skills but it also gives the game more replay value. It should take you around 40 hours to complete a single playthrough but this will mostly depend on your playstyle. It can be around 30 hours if you're just rushing through the main quest but if you want to do everything you can expect to put in at least 50 hours. This is according to developers and we'll have to wait and see for ourselves when the game comes out. Greedfall will have multiple different endings which will depend on both decisions made throughout the game and your relationship with various party members. So we'll definitely have enough reasons to replay the game from the narrative perspective as well. We talked a lot about the world of Greedfall and how it works. It's not really an open world in a traditional way like you would expect, but the game will open up more as you earn influence and do quests. 
Similar to how Dragon Age Inquisition worked, you will start the game in a city called Serene, which is the part of the old world. It can be considered as a prologue area, but they said that it's quite lengthy. The island of Tier 3D is the main location of the game. Every faction has a major settlement that you'll be able to visit and the areas in general looks fairly open. There are dungeons and many secrets as well, according to developers. So pretty much everything that you would expect from a modern RPG. I truly believe that Spiders had the chance to step into a major league with this game and I hope that Gridfall lives up to our expectations. I will do a bunch of guides and tips for this game when it comes out so be sure to subscribe if you're interested to see that. This video was supposed to summarize everything we talked about so far and it was mostly aimed at people who recently discovered Gridfall. I have a bunch of videos where I specifically talked about various mechanics and features of this game so you can check that out as well. My channel is based around RPGs, I do in-depth guides, news and reviews. Special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube exclusive members and if you as well want to become one, all the links are in the description. See ya in the next one.